freestyle, hip hop. One beat, one blood. What it means to you, I don't know. But in this video, I'm gonna try to explain to you what it means to me. So let's go. Hey, what's up freestylers? Latif here, exploring with you the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle. And every week on this channel, we'll be discussing ways that we, as a freestyle community, can recognize, define, and nurture the culture that we know lies within the genre. We'll also be talking with not only different freestyle artists and industry personnel, but more importantly, some of these incredible fans that, as cliche as it might sound, had enough in for them, honestly, this shit would've ended a long time ago. If you're new to this channel and feel like this is something that you can get down with, do me a favor and click that like button below. Also, if you hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Before freestyle, there was rap music, and it was way before there was even a culture. It was just a new type of music that was introduced to us by the young black youth of New York City. Yeah, and I know some of those nerds are gonna try to challenge me on that one, but for this video and for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna stick to what I know and what I remember. Speaking of which, if you like hip hop music, do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know which artists and which songs were the ones that, from back in the days, that turned you into a fan. For me, it was songs like Dancer the drummer's beat, Bongo Rock, Apache, and of course, Planet Rock, which eventually became the staple to so many freestyle hits. Singing love songs over hip hop beats was an extraordinary blend and proved to be a very powerful formula. But along the lines, something seemed to have gone wrong. It, it, it seemed to have happened after the hit Take Me In Your Arms by Little Susie. Many producers felt that that was the necessary ingredient needed in order for them to produce another hit. And after that, it seemed like every other song used that beat. People got so obsessed with trying to create a hit that they gave up the art for the formula. And with home studios becoming so popular, the industry went nuts and everyone just started throwing out records like it was dice in hopes that eventually something would hit. But what we got instead was this genre just saturated with stuff that people just weren't interested in. DJs didn't even want to listen to him and the idea that it was even a freestyle track created this path straight into the recycle bin. I was there. I seen it with my own eyes. So here we are, decades later, the genre is still supporting club and concert events practically everywhere. However, we still cannot produce a new and viable freestyle hit. Just about every artist has tried. Just ain't happening. In fact, when I book shows, promoters make it a point to get in touch with me to tell me, Latif, let the artists know, please, no new music, just the hits. So why is it hip hop that came out before freestyle can produce and release new music and be greatly accepted? But freestyle can't? So let me try to explain what it is that I'm seeing and maybe in the comments below, you can let me know whether you agree, disagree, or maybe you have your own theory. So check it out. Hip hop was hip hop back in the day. And hip hop is still hip hop today. The name never changed. The music did, but not the name. The Sugar Hill Gang from back in the day sounds nothing like Drake does today. And Run DMC sounds nothing like Kendrick Lamar. But regardless, they're all considered hip hop. The idea that I have probably isn't something that you haven't yet thought of. It's that simple, it's that clear, it's that elementary. This is the deal, and you have to really think about what I'm saying. I gave it a lot of thought, and it really isn't that difficult. Go out on a limb, create something totally different, think outside the box, and experiment. But no matter what, no matter what you come through with, no matter what comes out of your creation, don't change the name. Keep it freestyle. This is the key. I know it sounds crazy, it might even sound dumb, but it really is that simple. Hip hop has been doing it for years. There's no reason why we cannot do it. If we followed this structure back then and we succeeded, then we could continue to follow the structure now. And I'm not saying emulate hip hop, just the structure. It's just like a movie. A horror movie and an action movie pretty much has the same structure. We have to do the same thing. And no miraculous changes will be made. It's gonna take time. It might not even affect this generation, but it might help the next generation. On another note, before I before I forget, this is this is crazy. Um artist Nelly Fatah. Oh, 
released in 2012 this pretty dope ass record called Spirit Indestructible. I'm gonna put the link down in the description below. If you've never heard of this record, I advise you to click on it, check it out. What's crazy is that it's your typical old school freestyle structure. However, it's using more updated sounds, at least for 2012. Another thing that's uh, interesting about this song is the title itself. Had this song been recorded by one of our freestyle artists, it probably would be called something like, yo, love my tears, or you know, my heart breaks for you. This is what I'm trying to say is go outside the box, experiment, go out on a limb, give it a try, just don't change the name. Shout out to Surf C Lion King for turning me on to this joint. I'm putting his information also down in the description just to show my appreciation. How this came about was Surf C had asked me how come I never supported this record when it came out, and I told him I had never heard of it before. I know of uh, Nelly Furtado, but I don't really follow her music. Not to mention, I never saw it being promoted as a freestyle track, so I knew nothing about this. And while we're on the subject, if you know of any other pop artists who have released songs that sound freestyle, please post them in the comments below. I'd love to check them out and, and possibly even use them as future reference. So here's a question for you. What do you feel are the true characteristics of a freestyle song? Is it the beat, is it the lyrics, or maybe something else? Please put your answer below. Your answer to this question will become the springboard to many discussions about this topic. And eventually, and only with your help, will we finally discover the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle music. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video, and if it made any kind of sense to you, that thumbs up will let me know. Also, hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hey, my name is Latif Mercado, and until next time, keep it real, keep it peace, and remember, freestyle for life!